Hello there, welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 6. Today we're continuing on with our Let's Play. This is episode 44. In today's episode, we are taking a look at the International B license in the National A section, because that's the way this game works. Route X, IB1, Scirocco. I've driven one of these before. That's all I have to say about the Scirocco. <laughs> I, I do... I get why they do license tests this way in this game, but... Oh, it's a slalom, okay. Oh. I was about to say, I thought this was going to be one of those 0 to 100 things, but no, it's a slalom, okay. Now it makes sense why it's in the game. To be honest with you, if this game had a, like, a working third-person camera, that would fix a lot of things in this game. Drifting would be easier, slaloms would be easier. Ah, uh, thank God for that. Easy. Ish. <laughs> <clears throat> as far as Gran Turismo slaloms go, actually quite easy. Mm. As far as license tests in this game goes, not so much. Oh boy, the Fista Karma. The Fista Karma Eco Sport. Like the Ford. Yeah. And Man Panorama, which means this is going to be interesting. This is the car that's famous for having the uh, exhausts mounted directly underneath the front windows. <laughs> so you'd be killed by exhaust fumes if the generator came on. <laughs> it was a design. I think in this game it just functions as a normal electric car. I could be wrong. Yeah, it does. The braking markers on that are far too... As if. Yep, there we go. Okay, we're back in Gran Turismo Easy territory. <laughs> I completely <laughs> missed my braking zone. Completely missed your braking zone, still get gold by a couple like, of hundreds. Yeah, loads. Alright. I thought that said slalom for a second there, and I was going to say in a fucking GC500. Absolutely not. It's like taking a fucking chest of drawers for a slalom. It just doesn't really work, does it? No. Uh, it's time for an even trickier set of consecutive corners. Oh no, is this the top section of this track? Yes, it's the top section of I this track. I hate the top uh... section of this track. Yeah, it's the top section of this track in a very powerful rear-wheel drive. 663 horsepower. Yes, and this is the most done before they realised old pain handling matters just as much as power. Yeah, this still has a live rear axle. The traction control saved that, to be fair. <laughs> that was not as easy as the Fisker. It, it may have looked slightly easier than the Fister, but no, that was not fun. Hello. 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 Oh boy, time for an Aston Martin. Aston Martin Please. Cognizant Aramco Formula 1 team. Sorry, let me do his full name now. Aston Martin Cognizant Aramco Honda Formula 1 team. Oh, yeah, Lance Stroll. Hopefully by that time, fucking Cognizant's fucked off, so we can just call it the Aston Martin Aramco Honda team and just be done with that. Mm. It's alright, give it a few years when they, like, when Lawrence fought, throws his prams out the... throws his toys out the pram, and it just becomes the Aramco Formula 1 team. The official team of human rights violations. Who would they get in as drivers? Mm. Nikita Mazepin, straight away. They need a chief groper on the scene. <laughs> um, who else is disgraced? 
Um, oh, what was that guy at Force in uh, India called? He was apparently gay with Lewis Hamilton. Freaking hell. Uh... He, like, stabbed someone with a champagne glass or something. Adrian Sutil. Ah, oh, Adrian Sutil, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Here we go, Toscana. Toscana, isn't that a Hyundai model? No, that's the Toscani. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually the Tucson. It's named after a place in New Mexico. Because Hyundai likes to name their cars after shoddy pieces of America. I can't, I can't wait for the Hyundai uh, Abercrombie. Yeah, man. Wait, yeah, I can't wait. You should always think that. That's, that's just going to be the big SUV. <laughs> oh, there's the big S. What's their version of the Telluride called? That should be the Albuquerque. Uh. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> Did they have one? The Palisade, oh, yeah. I think it's the Palisade. The Palestine. And once again, <laughs> easy as fuck. Uh, I could make a joke, rally. I'm not going right. to. Hey, we got Come a on. license. Come on, do it, do the joke. Like, you care about your guy. I do, very much. The guy told me I wasn't going to be famous the other day in the comment section and it hurt me. Oh boy, another fucking Scirocco. Just what I needed in my garage. Another one. What? <laughs> what do you mean? You don't want I've already got one! Yeah, but who cares? It's the best ones of again. You love... You to love them. But my old one's better because it's got a nitrous system in it. <laughs> Hooray! It's a... Uh, Jerry it's Clarkson's a old car. Five. The interior does not come in any wacky colours, so I will get it in Androdach. Also known as Grun. I like Grun. No, I don't want to use this car now, obviously. Look and, at the fucking state of it. Grun. So, so then Mueller isn't there, he would have told you how you say that thing. Yeah, I know. International B class and the Red Bull X Challenger there. In the Red Bull X Challenger, you'll be able to drive out the try out. The Red Bull X 2014 series of car developed by Red Bull Racing in collaboration with the Gran Turismo team. I.e. they're not real. Let Sebastian know. I'd rather Daniel Ricciardo teach me. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time we're going to be taking a look at the Goodwood Festival of Speed set free. So join us for that. Until then, farewell. <laughs>